Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can save your MS form response as a PDF and then send that PDF to your email ID using Power Automate. This is my form which I've created and what I want is when I submit this form and PDF should be generated of this form. I'll go in my Power Automate and try to create an instant flow here. I'll name my flow as an forms to PDF connector will be when a new form response is submitted form ID will be my form name as you know this is the feedback form next thing is get response detail feedback form response ID after this tab I will choose a data operation select and uh, by default when we get the form response detail it is in the object form so I have to create an array to further work with this one so in the from I will write an expression create array create array of what with the dynamic content of response ID. Click OK and here I have to map all these form value which is I have created here. So I'll just take the name value would be my form response. Likewise I can create for all the entries. That's the way you can map all of your forms column to this particular select one and put the name whatever you want, whatever you want to see in the PDF format. Once this is done, the next step is create HTML table. And uh, the from will be my output of this select one and uh, in the column you have option either automatic or either custom one if you click on the custom one it will provide you option to create a custom table but in my case I've already have this select format so I will choose the automatic one and uh, once this is done next step is I'm gonna create a file in my OneDrive so this is my OneDrive. I'm going to save file here. I will choose create file option. OneDrive for business. Create file. Folder path. I do not have any folder so I will select my root folder. And file name will be what I want file name is uh, responders email dot HTML. This is the way I want to save the file name and the five file content will be output of my HTML table. Next step I'm going to do convert file so convert which file is my create file ID and convert that into as a target type you can save whatever you want but in my case it will be PDF and once this is converted from HTML to PDF now the converted one I have to generate a PDF out of it so I'll create one more create file in my OneDrive same location file name would be the convert file name and the file content will be the convert file file content which we have done here so now the PDF will be generated as well next step is get file content OneDrive get file content and the file will be 
this cre create file to this one click the ID and we are good to go and one more step which I have to perform is send this file to my email ID so send email outlook send email to you can send this to anyone subject will be subject will be file content and in the body you can say please find the dash and uh, in the attachment name I'm gonna say the ID or name whatever you want to put and in the attachment the file content will be there and we are good to go I will just save this flow and try to submit a response from here say learn and tech contact number could be anything select any date I'll say MS form yes submit the response so once our response is submitted we'll go to our flow you can see that the flow is running successfully so there is an error came here in this convert file so conversion of this file to PDF is not supported let me just go back to there convert file right the file name we have to include dot HTML here and now save this again I will test this for the failed one again and it should work now the file has been created converted and it's now completed everything so now I'll go in my OneDrive I'll refresh you can see that a file has been created with .html and with the PDF as well so this one you are seeing is for the failed one the previous one and the current one is these two so and to click on this PDF one you can see that the response has been captured into PDF I'll go to my email ID so this subject you are seeing because we have selected that content you can put the custom one and the more important what we're looking for is this PDF so we'll have the form response here and if I download this one and open this with my any desktop uh, PDF version this is the way it will show into your the PDF reader as well so it will work for both your online as well as an offline and if you want to add one more step every time you create a response in your OneDrive after sending this to an email you can delete these one as well so you have to add two more step delete file we have to delete the create file 2 and second I have to delete is both these file I'll try to run this for this one Close running file has been created and uh, I got an email again 
I'll go in my OneDrive, refresh this one. File has been deleted from here. So that's the way you can clean up your OneDrive as well. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.